New at 10 tonight, the search is on for a dozen goats stolen from a local farm. Fox 11's Ed Lasko is live in Ontario with the latest on the search for the goats. Ed. The search is on for the goats, as you say, Christina. This is a crazy one. It sounds like something out of the old TV show Green Acres. Remember that one? Only sadly, this is the real deal. Cattle rustlers turn goat rustlers, leaving the, the farmer. Well, well, he's just heartbroken. Watch. They cut the, the chain link, pulled that open, and then see how there's this welded wire panel. Yes. They cut that. With and just like that, the goat rustlers make their getaway, taking with them something priceless. I really want them back. I really want them back. I hope that we can find them. That is the hope as the Drake family farm here in Ontario is now left reeling after a dozen of their goats are now gone, stolen. It's heartbreaking because I guess you have to understand the whole reason I have the farm is because I love the goats. That's why I have the farm and I, I love the goats. And so when something happens to the goats, then it really hits home. And the rustlers not just stealing any goats, but some of the favorite ones, the friendliest ones. Take a look at how hard it is to catch one of these goats. Okay, Marlo. Come here, Marlo. So the rustlers target the easy ones. Seven of the goats are pregnant. One goat just gave birth a few hours before it's stolen. Twelve goats that all need special care. Do they even know that they were pregnant? You know, are the other ones that are having babies, are, is the, are the babies stuck in them and they need veterinary care and these people don't know? Or do they butcher them all and eat them? I, I don't know. But we do know the goats that are stolen are easy to spot because they're easy to identify through tattoos, markings on each of their ears. And then in her left ear is her individual identification. So hers is 2190. And so this will be unique for every goat. The goats are raised for their milk, which the farm turns into prized goat cheese, selling it at farmer's markets and to high-end restaurants. But Dan says it is, it's much more important than all of that. They came and took my favorite goats. So, you know, and they took the nice ones that walk up to you and that were easy to catch. So I don't know. I hope that they're okay wherever they're at. And I hope that we get them back soon. Uh, I hope so too, Dan. I think everybody's hoping for that. As we come back out live, you know, the Drake Family Farm has been around here a long time, over a hundred years, and they are offering a reward. They want their goats back safe and sound. And you heard, Dan, it's not about their milk and about the prize cheese. It's about something that's, that's really priceless. As, as he said, they they really become part of the family. Lots of emotion. They're hoping you can help them find their goats. Their website that they have will show the IDs of the marking of the tattoos so you can kind of put them back together. For now, we are live here in Ontario on the Goat Watch. Back to the west side we go. Well,